In, in Del Sol, we have more stores in more ports of call than any company in the world. We understand the cruise marketing, cruise retail world better than anyone. When I got involved in the business uh, early on, we, we had a handful of stores. I realized that there was something unique and different about the product. We sell products that change color in the sun. So indoors, it's not activated, then you walk outside in the sun and you get an activated molecule, our spectrochrome proprietary molecule, that opens up when it's in the sun and turns nail polish that's clear indoors or white indoors, depending on the color, to a red or a blue when you go out in the sun. You see the color they are, the indoor color, and they change to the color on top of the bottle. Just add sun. Wow, look at that. <laughs> and so we said, this, I, I, this product sells. Same thing with t-shirts, frisbees, flip-flops, sunglasses that all change color in the sun. And that's the concept. It was 2000. My wife and I decided to go down to St. Martin. The company at the time had a handful of stores. I wanted to understand the retail side of the business and make sure that I understood what the customers were doing. While I was there though, I realized that Del Sol isn't a passive product with a name like Gucci or Louis Vuitton that someone walks by and they already know the brand. Well, they didn't know the brand or that everything changed color. So I would stand out there, but I talked to every single person that walked by. They walked by, we would get them in and we'd do a product demonstration. And so we figured if we talk to every person, we'll make sure we get everyone that's going to spend money or would that we get them into the store. And at that time, I learned how to get people to notice Del Sol and to make sure that they could um, see that all of our products change color in the sun, to create the wow experience. When we realized that the people responded to the product and we had a store, then, then at that point we said, can we turn it into a real business? And so I got involved, I started working side by side with my brother-in-law. He was over the finance and operations side as the president. I was then the vice president of sales and marketing. And then at that point, we were on the back of a cruise ship. It was 2002. And ultimately that's when we talked about him deciding to sell out. And so we talked and figured it out and, and I then bought him out in 2003. Becoming the president then of the company and beginning to grow it. Del Sol as a company has 132 stores in 22 countries. We've gone into tourist destinations all over the world, the top tourist destinations in Cozumel, Mexico, St. Thomas, and, and others. We're the number one promoted brand on board all of the cruise lines. We then took that, grew up until about 2006. In 2006, we realized a need to diversify. Carol we realized that there was a need for something else in the marketplace. And to make sure that we weren't ever getting stale, that we had something in the marketplace between junk trinket shops to then Del Sol, and then that there was really a gap between Del Sol at $25 shirts, and then diamond high-end watch and jewelry brands. At that time, we got our team together, hired a few different people, and made sure that we could figure out a product line that customers would respond to from Del Sol to suit to one of these higher end brands. And when we did that, we created our new brand, Caraloha, where the style of the Caribbean meets the spirit of Aloha. And once we did that, sales went from about $400 a ship visit when they came into port to over $2,000 a visit when they came into the port. And we say, when you go and visit Karaloha, everything in the store is made of bamboo. Hard bamboo like you think of, and we make ultra soft products like golf shirts and t-shirts and other things that are made of bamboo. Made from this hard bamboo, where we, they create products that's three degrees cooler than cotton, twice as soft as cotton. It's as soft as silk, but it's half the price. My name's Aaron Hobson. I'm uh, the Vice President of Marketing, specifically focusing on Karaloha which is uh, a new brand that we've been developing here over the last couple of years. So we have the shirts that are made of bamboo, and then we have towel sets where all of the towels 
are made of bamboo. The sheet sets to put that on your bed, purses have been a, a successful product line for us. We started our first store in 2008 and uh, we currently have seven stores and then expanding that into uh, a handful more. We've really now created a concept that can be scaled into all of our, our cruise destinations and tourist destinations all over the world. We're opening about four to five more this year and then kind of growing it from there. It's been very successful as a result. We've opened four additional stores this year. Ketchikan, Alaska, Key West, Florida, uh, in Aruba, and then in St. Martin, and started growing in the Kerala brand. When we're hiring someone new, it's critical that they have a burning desire to succeed, that they're passionate about our business, about our industry, about our products. As an entrepreneur and as a business owner, I eat, sleep, and drink, and I live it all day, every day. Our product and our business, and make sure that it's successful. And if you don't feel like you have other people that you're equally yoked with in the process, it makes it very hard to be able to grow a business, unless you have other people that are passionate about it. If you don't love your, your business, if you don't love what you're doing, it's difficult to get up every day and to keep the momentum going and keeping everybody else from store owners to cruise lines, to um, our own stores that we um, work with corporately and employees at corporate to keep them motivated if I don't make sure that my tank is full and that I have that passion and energy for our business. It's never a dull moment being an entrepreneur, but I've loved every minute of it.